back to my channel. You probably already know that paleontology is the study of ancient life. This is not limited to dinosaur bones, but includes things like plants, trace fossils, and so much more. I'm here to talk about specifically what types of paleontologists are out there. There are so many different career options if you wanna pursue paleontology. Something I didn't realize until the last couple semesters of my undergrad was that there are so many different options to go and so many different paths you can take to become a paleontologist. A couple of main categories are research paleontologists, fossil preparators, collections, and science communication or science education. Now these jobs can overlap in different activities such as field work. You can be a research paleontologist and a fossil preparator and still participate in that. So it really depends on the job description or things that you'll be a part of. Let's start off with research paleontologists. A lot of paleontologists will take a researcher academic route, come curators at museums and professors at institutions where they can continue to do their research. These scientists are coming up with hypotheses and testing those hypotheses with the scientific method. Research paleontologists may travel to different institutions or do field work or even visit their own collections at the museum or institution to do their own research. To be a research paleontologist, you will need a lot of schooling. You will need to get your undergrad degrees in either biology or geology, something related to paleontology. Then you can get your master's and or doctorate. Many researchers will even pursue postdoctoral opportunities and continue to do research and learn from there. If you love to read and write and answer big questions, then research paleontology might be for you. I would encourage really anybody to get some experience in research. This could be undergraduate research or an internship opportunity. It really just helps to bring everything together and for you to have a better understanding on how the science works. Let's talk about fossil preparation. These paleontologists work with the specimens themselves. They spend their time removing rock or matrix away from fossil bones, trace fossils, and etc. The fossil preparator is also responsible for training volunteers, usually how to prep specimens carefully and care for basically the health of the fossil over time. Preparators might also be involved in making three-dimensional copies. That can be molding and casting or 3D printing, really just depends. This career path requires good hand-eye coordination and good hand dexterity. Most prep jobs will involve you interacting with the public or volunteers, depending on what the museum needs or institution needs. Sometimes preparators are called out into the field where you actually get to go prospect or dig up fossils. It is highly encouraged for fossil preparators to get an undergraduate degree in some sort of science or even art. Personally, I did geology and anthropology while doing fossil prep in my university's lab. Experience in a variety of tools and skills is essential for fossil prep. Most preparators will get this experience through volunteering at a university or a museum lab. Let's talk about collections. When you visit a museum, everything that you see on display is just the tip of the iceberg. Normally, a museum will have a giant warehouse sometimes, full of specimens that are all neatly organized and ID'd, have all of the information associated with each specimen. These specimens are neatly organized and stored archivally for generations of researchers to come study them. Collection staff work with the specimens themselves. They make sure that the specimen labels are correct. They keep up with putting things into databases that make it easier for researchers to find. For collections positions, you will most likely need an undergraduate and or a master's degree in some sort of natural science or museum studies. Let's talk about science communication or science education. Paleontology has often been referred to me as the gateway drug to science, and it's pretty much true. Paleontology is a combination of so many sciences, including geology, chemistry, anatomy, biology, and so much more. It's a great way to excite and encourage others to follow a STEM career. It's so important that we have science educators and communicators that can share the most recent and up-to-date knowledge, as well as sharing it in a way that anybody can understand, including those without a science background. Paleontology is so important for the understanding of our Earth's life's history. The more we know about the past, the better we can prepare for the future. 
This route has so many different paths. You can be an educator at a museum or science communicator for an institution. You can become a science teacher. In this route, you'll need your undergraduate degrees and or a master's, depending on what you want to do. These are just a few paths that you can take if you're interested in paleo. A few others that I do want to mention are paleo artists. So if you're interested in drawing very accurate depictions of prehistoric life, paleo art is definitely a field that you can pursue. It is needed for museums and research. They are so important in creating a scientifically accurate depiction of the prehistoric world. You can also be a digital paleontologist. This is a relatively new field and it involves using scanning and 3D printing technology. You can also work for national parks. You can also do survey work at construction sites that need a paleontologist on staff. If you think of another route that you can take in paleontology that I missed, please leave a comment below. As you can see, there are so many different ways that you can pursue paleontology. I would encourage you to volunteer or do internships to see what you like and dislike about each job. And don't forget that if you can't choose paleontology as a career, you can always do it as a hobby and get involved with museums in your local institutions. Good luck on your fossil endeavors, and I will see you next time.